Welcome back. You're watching Good Morning Sri Lanka on MTV Sports. And uh, if you've just tuned in, a very good morning, first of all. And, uh, you know, talking a bit about what we've been discussing on the episode today, we've been uh, taking a look, we've been a bit tech savvy and taking a look at some of the advancements in technology, especially in the medical science arena. Uh, now, going on with the, the same note, uh, this is also a development in, in technology. Robots have uh, become really uh, popular, and uh, especially uh, manufacturing plants all around the world are uh, you know, having robot technology. But this is interesting. This is a robot who can actually paint what you feel. Now, I don't think a painter even can do uh, that job as efficiently as this guy can because he apparently uh, analyzes the thoughts in, in your brain and paints a picture accordingly. So this is something that's very interesting and uh, let's take a look at uh, what that's all about. It's giving new meaning to the phrase beauty sleep. Sleepy the robot painter can interpret the rhythm of your sleep to create a work of art. Budget hotel group Ibis offered 40 guests across Europe the chance to sleep their way to their own personal robot painting. Combining comfort with technology, our masterpiece is to make your sleep a true work of art. Lara Faguet of Acor is running the PR campaign for Ibis. We can uh, see very clearly if the person is very, very calm, very smooth, uh, very relaxed during the night, or if the, the sleep is more animated. So it's very interesting because uh, a lot of our guests discovered in the morning some surprising uh, results. The robotic arm uses data gathered from 80 sensors attached to a mattress pad that measures pressure, heat and sound. Sent wirelessly, the raw data is interpreted by Sleepy using an artistic algorithm. The collaboration project involves four companies, including French robotics agency ABB, whose engineer Guillaume Pradel is smitten. You look at it, it's so cute. I mean, it's a small robot. It, it's, it's armless. Robots today are everywhere, including the, in, in the art, so it, it was interesting for us to, to be part of it. Sleepy's official name is IRB120 a modified version of an industrial robot used in factories. Based in the lobby of an Ibis hotel in Paris, its subjects never see it, and no cameras are used, making the experience completely unobtrusive. The android has developed artistic pretensions, its own signature for a start. And though its creators say Sleepy's art can't rival that created by humans, they insist the algorithmic amateur has a rare gift for visualising a good night's sleep. Now that is like a wow. Uh, story for me because I don't know about you but I kind of uh, really like robots and uh, that is some revolutionary technology where it actually analyzes uh, you know the rhythm of your sleep and tries to predict and paints it into a picture that's uh, pretty interesting I guess uh, so as much as you know science and technology has been going forward there are times that science has been questioned and one of the key um, you know debates of science and uh, where science has been questioned and debated about is, is the theory of evolution and there are scientists themselves who debate about it whether it really follows the Darwinian theory of evolution or whether you know it follows the story in the Bible but uh, this is something that will you know further probably give like you know a bit of points to the scientist uh, side of things where an, an ancient freshwater fossil has been discovered. Now fossils have been discovered right over around the world in various different places and this also kind of proves that uh, there would have been a, a phase of history that we are not really familiar with that was definitely not recorded and that we're just discovering or rather rediscovering now as time goes on and which supports and backs the the entire Darwinian theory of evolution where life was apparently first in in the water and then it moved on to land and then a whole different process and then that's how humans came into being but uh, you know let's take a look at the, the next story which is about ancient freshwater fossils <laughs> This is Pannoniosaurus inexpectatus. It measured up to 13 feet as an adult and could dislocate its jaw to swallow any prey it could get its mouth around, dead or alive. These are the fossilized remains of a group of mosasaurs, an ancient species of lizard, the first known mosasauroid to live in fresh water ever discovered. Evidence of these creatures that lived around 85 million years ago has only recently been found. Laszlo McCaddy is one of the paleontologists involved in the discovery. 
you can see some very young juveniles, you can see a bit uh, more uh, adults and sub-adults and then you can see quite large uh, adults uh, living here, which means there was a complete population living in these uh, environments. Uh, Instead of uh, just, uh, for for example, uh, adults uh, swimming up into the rivers to, to mate or, or for some other reasons. Makari and his colleagues discovered fossils at a waste dump of a coal mining operation in Ihekut in western Hungary. They unearthed thousands of fossils and pieced back together several mosasaurs. Makari says that the discovery of these types of lizards paints a clearer picture of how freshwater rivers thrived in prehistoric eras. The paleontologists say they're learning something new about their findings every day. These are those vertebrae which are very, very uh, abundant at the locality. Actually, those are the, the most uh, frequent uh, remains of, of this mosasaur. You can see that it has uh, the, the body of the vertebrae is quite a V-shape, and it has this precondylar constriction. I mean, the condyle is uh, wider than the centrum itself, uh, which is unique among mosasaurs. Only Pononiosaurus has this character. These findings could help further understanding of these particular carnivorous mosasaurs, and quite possibly in inspire a new generation of paleontologists as well. Ten points to those who believe in Darwin there with that <laughs> discovery. But, uh, you know, there we go. In that story also, uh, a lot of people don't realize the value of this because that was also a construction site, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, sometimes there might have been fossils and other evidence that was probably lost in time because people really didn't, couldn't really recognize them as fossils or, you know, being something like that. So there we go. That is a very interesting development. Um, you know about uh, ancient freshwater fossils and that is probably going to uh, back uh, as I said once again the Darwinian theory of evolution um, you know we'll take a short break and be back on Good Morning Sri Lanka don't go anywhere because we've got more stories coming your way Welcome back. I hope you've been with us uh, right throughout uh, the show and today's episode of Good Morning Sri Lanka. But if you haven't for some reason, uh, let me just tell you, we've been you know, taking a look at some of the discoveries and the developments in terms of science and technology. And uh, once again, the, the last story just before the break was about evolution. And as I said, it's a much hotly debated topic. But even in Sri Lanka, they've uh, found a lot of uh, evidence supporting the Darwinian theory of evolution. Now, uh, you know, we... we think of taking a little break from all the tech savvy stuff but I guess it's something uh, nice when you wake up uh, on t uh, lovely Tuesday morning uh, just to get a brief of what's happening uh, the world around us especially in terms of technology but then again we can discuss stories that you want us to discuss as well once again a reminder we are on Facebook and I think you should visit our Facebook page and make some comments about what you want to hear on uh, Good Morning Sri Lanka and what you want to see every day when you wake up uh, so we can be found on Facebook that's uh, uh, the page is named Good Morning Sri Lanka. So now taking, a, 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 you know, on a lighter note, uh, going on to fashion. Now Katie Holmes, uh, as much as she's a, a brilliant actress, she's also got into uh, fashion designing and we've shown you some stories of her in the past as well of, uh, of her fashion uh, d uh, designs and the fashion shows and this one's also one of her latest collections. Let's take a look. Katie Holmes makes fashion design debut. Actress Katie Holmes is the latest celebrity exploring a career in fashion. The 33-year-old launched a modest collection of 14 ready-to-wear looks with a long-time stylist Jean Yang under the label Holmes and Yang. At an off-site venue at the New York Fashion Week, makeup artist Bobby Brown, founder of Bobby Brown Cosmetics, styled models for the design's Doors debut show. At an off-site venue of the New York Fashion Week, makeup artist Bobby Brown, founder of Bobby Brown Cosmetics, styled models for the Design Doors debut show. 
Holmes made last-minute adjustments and discussed the looks with her partner Yang. Instead of a runway show, the pair chose to show their line in the form of a presentation where models stood on pedestals. The collection was clean and wearable with leather jackets, slouchy silk pants and flirty summer dresses. Holmes joined a long list of celebrities launching a fashion label including Gwen Stefani, Victoria Beckham and Jessica Simpson. Holmes came under fierce media attention in June this year when she filed for a divorce. Holmes came under fierce media attention in June this year when she filed for a divorce from Mission Impossible star Tom Cruise after a nearly 6-year marriage. The divorce took less than 2 weeks to settle. Actress turned uh, fashion designer and I guess she'll make her mark in that as well. She looks uh, quite promising and a lot of potential in that area as well. So with that, uh, we have, uh, you know, we've been taking a look at different things for today, but uh, we'll be back the same time tomorrow at 7.15 on MTV Sports. Once again, you can catch all our episodes on YouTube as well if you are following the channel MTV Sports LK. So MTV Sports LK, that's the channel you should be following on YouTube to catch our episodes if you missed any or if you want to, you know, maybe take a look at some of the past ones as well. Now with that, we're going to say goodbye and uh, hopefully you'll have a great Tuesday and you'll enjoy the rest of the week as well. So bye-bye from MTV Sports.